Hole. Hey. Oh, I noticed you guys finally cleaned up. Right. I haven't talked to you. Ah, yes. I remember you. The wedding. I was so happy for both of you. I wish the circumstances of my visit were better. Thank you for coming. Unfortunately, this isn't the first constellation funeral I've been to. After 35 years, you say goodbye to a lot of friends. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I feel numb just thinking about it. Sarah meant the world to me. She was the future. I knew it as soon as I met her. You were the chair before Sarah, right? Oh, yes. I was Sebastian Bench's protege. If that gives you any idea of how long I was part of our little club. Well, considering you don't really look over 30, it doesn't. You knew Sebastian Banks? Knew him. Argued with him. Tried to carry on his memory when he vanished. Sebastian will be back tomorrow, we always used to say. <laughs> it reminded us that he was still here, in the bones of this old building. Um, was that like a cask of Amontillado type situation, or? Um, yeah, you're gonna have to tell me about that. Um, were you and Sarah close? Yes. She could make me so angry, or so happy. We used to joke that we were married. <laughs> I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? I'm more of a family than an organization. All the former lines bleed together. It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it means the time you had together was all the more important. That's how I like to think of it anyway. What was Sarah like back then? Exactly the same as when you met her, I bet. Determined. Fearless with just a small hint of delight on her face when she knew she was winning, eh? My only problem as a mentor was trying to convince her to be more tactful. Oh. <laughs> Those old military instincts would always get her in trouble. Right. Well, thanks again for coming, Asha. Individual depression can be considered a disease but collective depression is considered therapeutic hey sir it's me we'll see each other again i promise Goodbye, my love. You know, what you're feeling right now is a chemical reaction whose evolutionary goal is promoting social cohesion. Never seems to work for me. No matter how many times I do this, I feel less attached, not more. I'm sorry, Barrett. It just seemed like you're making light of the situation there. Chat for a bit? Normally, I hate talking to people at funerals, but, well. Yeah, let's chat. You don't believe in the afterlife, do you? 
I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but... I don't know. Um, especially after gaining magical powers and such. Um, it kind of makes me think there might be something. I guess I'll find out when I get there. Yes. Won't we all? Well, I've taken up enough of your time. Hey, Mateo. It almost feels wrong to be grieving. Selfish. No amount of tears will bring the dead back. It's okay to grieve, Mateo. It's just easier to feel guilty, if you'll excuse me. Hi, nice, Sona. Sarah would be proud of you, you know? Yeah, I know. She said that to me like a thousand times. It's just that I feel so alone. With Sarah, it was like starting a family again. The way she'd smile at me reminded me of my mom. I miss that so much. Now she's gone, and I have to start over, like I did before. You're not alone. You have the rest of Constellation. It's not the same. Sarah was starting to feel like, well, like she was my new mom. I get it. I really don't want to go through this again. It's too hard. I can't believe Sarah's gone. It's not fair. Go through this together. Hey, um, thanks for talking to me. I'm actually feeling a little better knowing that you care how I feel. Maybe I'm not so alone after all. You know this was your fault, right, Vladimir? If you hadn't insisted that Barrett go with me on that stupid mission, Sarah would have been with me. She would have been by my side, safe, and none of this would have happened. Uh, can we talk now without you being a giant douche about the whole thing? You know what you're feeling. I guess the answer is no. All right. That sounds awful. It's kind of not, by definition. But yeah, I can see your point. You know, if there's one piece of advice I can actually give you, it's that lost loved ones have a way of coming back to you. 
One day you'll be sweeping out some old shelf or digging through a desk and there it'll be. Some old paperweight of theirs. Or a piece of jewelry they gave you. Half jokingly. Theoretically, of course. I'm grieving, man. I'm grieving, and you're taunting me with... You're taunting me with thoughts of even more pain further down the line. You know, I, I would have thought, out of all the people here, you'd probably be the most sympathetic to what I'm going through, having lost a spouse as well. But no, you're just making light of the whole situation. Sarah should have been with me when we went to the scow. Not you. Constellations reduced capacity. You're just as responsible for this as the hunter is. Don't want to come to the ship. Let's get out of here. Vengeance. I need vengeance. Yeah, you should still be following me. Need a hand with something. Bye, then. Right. Okay. Oh, that's sound. Um, okay. Come on, Simeon, let's go. Anything I can help with? Yeah, I'd like you to follow me for a while. You won't. Okay. Great. Proceeding to the key. Okay. 
Where's it from here? I don't care about it. You're one of my least favorite people right now. You're only on the ship because you're a useful crew member. Hey, Shinya. Settlements. Be sure to gear up at the depot if you need to. Got it. Risky. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Rokoff's not so bad. He turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galban transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? 
Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. I'm willing to give it a shot. I just said the place is EM class. But hey, if you want to commit suicide, please go ahead and jump there. Don't let me stop you. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. Maybe the data's wrong. No, no, this all makes sense. The data says the transport went down over Bannock 4, carrying currency during the Narian War. There were ships fighting across the entire galaxy back then. It's not that hard to believe this one got lost that far out from home. Well, Crix wouldn't have given up. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. All right, we'll figure this out, I promise. I promise? You're gonna write that in your diary, little girl? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. Ship services? You need it, I've got it. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or I'm not going to be very disappointed. Yeah, I got it. Here you go. Well, well. Look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. That about does it then. Hell of a deal for both of us, I'd say. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it.
you want to stay under the radar, I've got just the thing. Mind helping me with my ship? Sure. It's not like I'm busy keeping this rust bucket of a station from falling apart. Oh, um... Sorry, um... Yeah, I'd like to view and modify my ships. Sounds like fun. Let's see what I've got. Weapons do I have on this thing? Docking port on the front like that? Interesting. Here to upgrade that ship of yours? No, I can't really upgrade it. Um, I'm not that good. But uh, mind helping with my ship. All right, uh, let me see what ships you and have for sale. And I need your cash. It's a match made in heaven. Yeah, I might as well sell this one. Oh, I forgot all about this rust bucket here. All right, thank you. All right, I'll be back. Um, let me know if you make any progress. The fleet's the only family you need. Yeah, maybe. I heard Isma's sister is some hardcore mercenary. Okay. 
catches first. Hello. Oops. Have any new books for me? Need something? How's it going? I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Jobs for what's their faces, right? I do. All right, we're going to Aquila. Ready. Aquila is one of the oldest cities in the settled systems. You see, can't be that bad, can't?
really shouldn't just be able to walk right in to the non-sales areas. Alright, well that's what we were here for. the spaceport really well I'm here Retreat? Supposed to be some new age healing center for reforming criminals or whatever. Going up at Ixel 2. I'm not holding my breath. I really do not know my way around here. Where's the rock? I think that's what they call it. This is it, isn't it? See if I can't get some more people to go hunt down. Get more practice before I go after the hunter. Oh. Oh no, that's Aquila information.
I wonder why Simeon won't follow me anymore. He's too big to be stuck in the same place. You ready to head back out? No, nope, you won't come with me either. Hey, how are you? You're not, not good, Cora. Not good. Okay, now that we've picked up more missions, um, I guess we'll go report at the UC Vigilance. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class. Go back. Anything to report. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Some of the Siren of the Stars passengers should be arrested. Nice work. Any specific evidence you picked up regarding criminal activity should be given to Lieutenant Toff after the debriefing. If the evidence pans out, you can visit those alleged criminals in our break the next time you stop by the vigilance. But for now, what do you have on Delgado and his little ragtag group of pirates? I was able to successfully steal the Galbank credentials. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. You're taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world.
Delgado will figure it out. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. I was simply warning you about his resourcefulness. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't change the fact that Delgado is still a murderer. Your best buddy has killed every single one of our previous informants. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. Are you concerned that I'm helping them get closer to Crix's legacy? Of course I am. We don't really have a choice in the matter. There are no shortcuts. The route you're taking to secure Crix's legacy for the Crimson Fleet is the only one at our disposal. Oh my God. If you suddenly change your behavior, they'll know something's wrong. I realize it's difficult, but I urge you to stay the course for now. In the meantime, oh, we'll formulate a plan to ensure the Crimson Fleet doesn't get their hands on that money. They think something called the comm spike will solve that problem. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Are you any closer to convincing the Council to attack the Crimson Fleet? My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy, I've been told. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans will result in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. Why don't you just take the Vigilance to the key and attack them? This is so stupid, Commander Akonde. I'm a vanguard pilot. Why don't you just enlist more of my kind? I mean, I really don't think the UC can complain if the vanguard go out and attack pirates. Now, could they? Are we going to warn the UC Navy about my attempt to grab the comm spike? I don't see the point. Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the vest. Right, so I'll report back with any evidence that I recover. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Well... The pirates will because we're helping them. Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Alright, I think I have some for you. Well done. Let's see what you found. I got this piece of information on a certain Gal Bank employee who was aboard the Siren of the Stars. Are you kidding me? Zembrowski was already making a six figure salary and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Find anything else? No, that's all I have for now. Okay, fine, fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. All right, take care, I'll Lieutenant. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Heard you made off with something called the Earth Savior.
Alright, um, I'm not ready to go back to the pirates yet. And to see Victor Gabriel's continuing uh, quest for power to defeat the hunter, you'll have to tune into the next episode of Starfield Interplanetary Diplomacy, starring yours truly, some guy you've never heard of, as Mr. Victor Gabriel. <laughs>